guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today I wanted to start something really fun on my channel um, because, I don't know, I just wanted a way to express my creativity with you guys and kind of do a, a chit chat tutorial type style thing but incorporate something really cool, like something that I really like which is music. So I want to do like tutorials based off of album covers because, I don't know. I feel like this could be really fun. And I've seen this one girl on my Twitter that does really cool um, art, makeup inspired looks based off of album covers. I'm gonna link her Twitter down below and put a little screenshot of some of her work right here just because I kinda got this inspiration from her. But basically, I wanna do this series where I base my makeup looks off of album covers, off of some of my favorite artists and bands, their album covers, just like using the colors and the inspiration from the music, etc., etc., to create something really fun on my face. The very first album cover that we are going to be drawing inspiration from today is the album called Disappear Here from Bad Sons. I actually went to their concert or their little show at a little music bar downtown Columbus. I went to their little show a couple months ago. It was amazing. Isaac went with me. We had so much fun, but I really love their music and I've been listening to it nonstop and I just really love this album cover because of the blues and then the little orange um, text at the bottom like the contrast if you know contrasting colors blue and orange are contrasting colors and i actually use a lot of blue and orange in my everyday looks so i thought this would be a fun first cover to uh, or album cover to draw inspiration from so let's just get straight into it all right so i'm going to be starting with my eyes that's what i usually do if i'm not filming a video for something so and whenever I do my eyes first, I always like to use the um, shadow shields just because I feel like <clears throat> I can get like a really clean uh, line happening. And then I don't have a whole lot of messy application everywhere. So like this is super weird, but you know what? <laughs> This is how I like to do it. This is how I like to do it. So I thought it would be fun to use some new products um, in today's video and kind of do a little bit of a first impressions while doing this. So I went to BeautyCon last weekend and in the little creator lounge or the talent lounge, they were a bunch of companies handing out free products to us and stuff like that. So I got these little Wonder Brow brow gels and apparently they're like waterproof and stuff like that so i'm going to try these out it's just like in a little kind of lipstick tube container and i'm just going to put some on my hand i got the brunette color and then i also got black but black is like straight up black black so i'm probably going to mix this with some of the brown <laughs> Now I'm kind of having a little bit of trouble. Maybe it's just my brush. Maybe it's the fact that I had a lot of coffee this morning. But you know what's great about brows is that if you mess up on filling them in, girl, you can carve them out later with foundation or concealer and it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be fine and dandy. So now finally back on to eyes. I'm gonna take my painterly paint pot you guys, I used to think it was so cliche, like every beauty guru ever used this stuff to prime their eyelids. And then I tried it out and I was like, actually this stuff is amazing. Like I don't use any other primer just because I feel like this just gives a really awesome creaseless base to any type of look. Like I don't know what it is about it, but it's so smooth but it's also like thick enough that it can cover everything. And I don't know, I just love it. And it's not like you have to apply this like a pro, like you just slap this on your eyes real quick, set it with a translucent powder or like a nice cream shade that matches your skin and you're ready to go. So actually before I left for California for BeautyCon, Makeup Geek sent me 
a ton of their shadows and you guys if you saw if you've been watching me for a while I did a brutally honest review of Makeup Geek a long long time ago and I bought everything myself and honestly I am so impressed with Makeup Geek shadows just they're so blendable so pigmented and they have a really nice range of nude colors like everyday natural kind of colors but then they also have a lot of you know blue shades and purples and pops of color like that one like amazing so i think i'm going to start with this gray color in the pastel goth palette just because i don't know i like blending blue shades into a gray base i feel like it's really easy it makes the colors i don't know i don't know i just prefer it i prefer it so let's go ahead and do it um, you guys, I watched the second episode of Bachelor in Paradise last night. <sighs> I'm so happy that they decided to bring it back because I freaking love Bachelor in Paradise. I love Bachelor. I love Bachelorette. Me and Isaac watch it together. We both love it. It's so fun to watch. I mean, <clears throat> personally, I would never do something like that, like go on a dating show and then get married to somebody after, like, them dating like 30 people on a show but I think it's really entertaining anyways Corinne is my favorite and I don't really know all that went down with Demario but I am a low-key sad that Corinne is not on the show anymore because of the scandal or whatever I didn't really do my research so I don't really know what really went down with them but I just miss Corinne. I think, I don't know, she was so funny and like different and really out there and outgoing. I just liked her personality a lot. Now that I look like a raccoon, let's finally get into some blue colors. I think I'm going to start with this blue color from Paso Goth. I love this palette. Like this palette will be a staple in my collection for a long time. Like I already know this because... First of all, that gray shade dagger I use so often. I use it in so many looks just because it's the perfect base for a cool toned look. I love this palette. I love this palette. So I went to California last weekend for BeautyCon and I actually went and got to visit the apartment place that I was really interested in and I signed my first lease. I got approved for it and everything on my own, not my parents, like not, not them, but me, Jordan Byers, signed her own lease, got accepted for her own lease, very first time, and I'm so stinking excited. For, like, for some reason, just being able to sign that lease just made me feel like such an adult, like it just made me feel, I don't know, like a, a lady boss, hashtag lady boss. It was really exciting, so just just wanted to let you guys know. Now see how when I'm blending this blue shade into the gray, it just, I don't know, the smoky effect of the gray mixing with the blue just personally looks better than just having the blue on there by itself. Like you still get that blue effect, but, but, but I like having that blue or the gray there because it I don't know, just the blending in with other cool tone shades. It just works really well. And I know it looks crazy right now, but listen, we're not even close to being done. We're not. Do you see how these shadow shields are so convenient, especially if you're doing like a bright look like this? Like obviously it's gonna be a really harsh line when I pull them off, but it's really easy to just blend that line in with a little blending brush or something of that nature once you pull it off, but it just makes it so easy to work with really bright, intense colors. That's why I like it. That is why I like it. I actually kind of want to put a white color because there's a lot of white contrast in the album color cover. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put that white shade right there called Skull. But I also want to put glitter on there. Like I know... I Y'all know I need to put some glitter somewhere, so I might put glitter. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to my old high school's alumni basketball game, or I don't know if it's basketball or soccer, but Isaac wanted to go. So I'm probably gonna be showing up with some bright blue look, and people are gonna be looking at me like, who does she think she is? What are you doing? You look like a clown. And I'm gonna be like, <laughs> 
This white shade, mmm, mmm. I swear I love this palette. I feel like when I added that white, it kind of took away the intensity of the blue on the side. So I'm just going to add some of that back in there. When you're working with a lot of colors, you can tend to lose some or lose some of the pigment of it. So there's no shame with going back in and redoing it. Like, it's okay. Sometimes you just got to look back, look in the mirror, be like, hmm. Where do I want to where do Where do I want to take this? What do I want to do next? And I want to incorporate that little orange somewhere. So I think I might take this little orange duochrome shadow right here in the inner corner and then on the lower lash line a little bit. So, so like look at how intense and sharp that line is. Like, girl, you're going to cut somebody with that line. I'm so weird. So, how I'm going to fix that is a fluffy brush and kind of blending up into there. Don't just like take the end of it and kind of blend into the line. Because if you go like that, you're going to take the pigmentation out of the inside. So, you kind of just want to... And this could take some time, so. So that's where I'm gonna keep it. I think it looks pretty good. And remember, if you put on, if you didn't put on your foundation yet, you can always kind of cover it up with foundation or concealer. That's why I like doing my eyes first, especially if it is such a crazy intense look. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna hold off on glitter for a second and just do my eyeliner really quick. It actually is easier to apply glitter once you have your map of eyeliner first. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel like I don't even want to put glitter into this look. <gasps> Did I really just say that? Did I really just say I don't want glitter? I'm gonna take the Highlight Mermaid highlight from Lime Crime and I'm gonna take that color right there and I'm gonna use that as my brow bone highlight today. I believe in a blinding under eyebrow highlight. Like I believe in it, I love it. You will never find me without a blinding eyebrow highlight like I love it some people put on their lashes with their natural lashes like they put on their fake eyelashes over their natural lashes and then blend it with mascara but I prefer to put on my mascara before my lashes and then kind of squish them together after because then I don't have a whole bunch of mascara crap on my falsies so then I can wear them longer and they don't have crap all over them Really quick as my eyelash glue is getting tacky, I'm going to go ahead and put on some of my Joby Beauty lip oil treatment on my lips. This is kind of like a really good step to prep your lips before putting on lipstick just because it's moisturizing as frick and it kind of, it doesn't plump them but it kind of like relaxes all the creasing and the wrinkles in your lips and kind of just makes it a really flat smooth canvas which is why I literally use it every single day before I put on any type of lipstick so I'm just putting that right on right now because I'm about to do foundation and lipstick after I put on these lashes so yeah so for today's highlight I'm gonna use my own highlight this is the blinding loose highlight in the shade Mercury Mer Mer Mercury M Mercury, Mer Mercury, Mercury. <gasps> Y'all, I don't play. I don't play. 
Oh, I actually like this brush a lot. Ooh, 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 yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Yes, girl, yes, I see you. We see you, girl. We see you. Ooh. And here we go with an extra highlight. So I think I'm gonna go with this Makeup Geek, uh, what is this even? Cream Stain in the shade Quick Step. I wore this to Beautycon for the first time and this is my new favorite formula of lipstick. I didn't get any, like, my lips didn't dry out. This stayed on all day. I didn't even have to reapply. This stuff is freaking amazing. Finally complete this look. I just feel like this almost straight hair is just not really in the fluffy bed, messy bed look. Like I kind of want to do some like loose, not curls, but like waves or something. So I'm going to be using the Foxy Bay, is that the right way? Yeah, the Foxy Bay curling iron. There are seven interchangeable wand things that you can like change it up. like. I have never used something like this with those ridges or like this or that little like weird bulby thing. I'm so excited to try this. So I decided to use this barrel right here. What I like about this curling iron is that first of all, there's seven interchangeable things heads or whatever, barrels if you will, but you can also change the heat. So I've tried a ton of different um, curling tools, straighteners and stuff like that and sometimes they don't allow you to change the heat which I think is really stupid because everybody has different types of hair, everybody needs a different heat. So I really like that you can change the heat and freaking seven different barrels for different looks. I'm using this one because look at that, that is so freaking cool. I've never used one like this before and I'm gonna try it out today, I'm really excited. And of course it comes with a little heat protectant glove. I use these every single time I curl straighten, not straighten, curl my hair because you can literally hold the tip of the wand and you won't burn yourself. And I've burned myself plenty of times. They also give you like one of these little velvet bags. It's really long. I just put all of my wands in there. Um, freaking awesome. So you could store this whole thing in there with the glove and be ready to go. You can travel with this. Honestly, I am obsessed. The packaging is great. Everything just looks fantastic. I'm freaking excited about this. Okay, so now that my hair is done, I'm just gonna turn this off really quick because I'd be the type of person to accidentally burn myself. <laughs> so it kind of it's like a bunch of beachy type of curly cues, but I'm gonna brush it out so that I can get some more like fluffy waves, if that makes sense. So it made some awesome, like really pretty curls. Really impressed. And it was really fast. Like I think I think it took me 10 minutes to do my whole hair, like all of my hair, and I have really, really long hair. Like it almost when I straighten it or if I go in a pool or something or the shower, my hair touches the top of my booty pop. So your girl's hair is super duper long. And it only took me 10 minutes to do it all. And it looks really good. Like brushed out look at those little like mermaid waves <gasps> I'm obsessed but I don't want to brush it out too much because I don't want it to go but let's brush out this side a little bit <gasps> I'm obsessed I love like fluffy beautiful big wavy hair and this is exactly like it looks natural it looks like this is what I woke up with, like the natural fluffy curls. <gasps> yes, I'm obsessed. This is perfect. Yes. yes. 
A little shout out to Foxy Bay for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check them out in the description down below. So thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it because I had tons of fun making this video. I really like being creative and getting to sit down and kind of chat with you guys. It makes my day. Like I'm going to be bright and bubbly the rest of the day just because I'm so happy. Ah! Anyways, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below to become part of the hashtag Joby Squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!